here at the ANA convention. Why have you come to this show? Uh, we try to do a lot of the big shows. Um, souvenir cards kind of have a philatelic and a numismatic connection. So um, there's actually a philatelic show going on at the same time and we have tables at both of them. Souvenir cards use uh, a lot of the engravings from the Bureau of Engraving and Printing with currency, um, stamps, and lots of different things that, that numismatists would probably enjoy. And tell me about souvenir cards. Well, our group is actually celebrating our 40th year. So this is our uh, first quarter journal from this year. It was the first, car first uh, journal of the year, and this is our 40th year, so we, we did a thematic cover. I edit this, and we've got something for everyone, kind of. Um, this is, shows uh, some, of the, some of the cards that were issued by the printer's union. Um, there's international cards. And for the most part, these are all integrally engraved cards. And then for the philatelist, we have an article on demonstration stamps. These are going back into the 1870s, and most of these are by the American Banknota Company. So we've been around since the 1980s. Um, the Bureau of Engraving and Printing began printing souvenir cards, I think, in 1969. So... What are souvenir cards for our viewers that don't know? Okay, they're uh, issued at a lot of the major shows, ANA shows, fun shows. Here's a good example of, of a souvenir card that was issued for the uh, International Paper Money Show in 1986. And this was printed by the Bureau of, of Engraving and Printing. And um, there's actually quite a number of cards with currency that you, you couldn't find at a reasonable price anywhere. Uh, only the real high rollers would be able to find it. But you can find it on souvenir cards printed from the original plates of the Bureau for five to ten dollars a piece. Well, for example, this card here was issued for the ANA show in 1985 at Baltimore. And it, it's got an intaglio engraved reverse of the Let's see, this is the 1882 $500 gold note. Now, if you were to try to find one of these, I don't even know if you could, but uh, it would be in the tens of thousands of dollars. But this card you can probably buy on the secondary market for five to ten dollars. This, uh, let's see, let's find another one. Okay, so here's a national bank note. This was issued for the International Paper Money Convention in 1985 at Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And it's got a, a related $10 national banknote from Westchester. And this was also printed using um, the Bureau of Engraving uh, original plates. They've kind of cre recreated the note for, for the show. And then uh, it's actually been canceled up here. Um, let's see, this is a $100. U.S. note, yeah, uh, yeah. In fact, the uh, there's another card that has the back side of it, showing the watermelon note on the back. So these are all all the ones in here, and they're not all uh, necessarily currency. This has got a bond, a 500 million dollar bond. So you probably wouldn't be able to get that anywhere else but on a souvenir card. That one, the porthole note. This was issued for the Hawaii. Uh, let's see, it's Hawaii 1987. Um, and as I mentioned, you can probably find this one for 10 to $12. An educational note, and these show up all the entire series, the one, two, three, five, one, two, and five dollar notes, uh, front and back, you can find both of them. And then there's also an unissued $10 uh, note from the series that's on another card. So. This is an easy way to, to collect genuine uh, intaglio printed currency from the Bureau of Engraving and Printing for a, a fraction of the cost that it would be to actually collect the original notes. 
And you can also find uh, obsolete banknotes on a, a great number of cards. There's probably, I think there's about 300 Bureau of Engraving and Printing cards. There's also about 70 different cards that were issued by the American Banknote Company, also in Taglio engraved. And, um, and then other places, organizations like us, like the Souvenir Card Society, put out their own cards. This one is also engraved. Uh, this is our 40th anniversary card, and uh, it's got uh, four colors of different engravings plus our logo at the top, all of them engraved. And how do we find out more about your organization? I would suggest going to souvenircards.org. And the best part of this is if you're trying to identify a card, and there's probably 20 different categories of cards, um, we, we have them all cataloged online. And you can see pictures of them. You can zoom in on the cards so you can get a better idea of what they are. Uh, they all have background information about them. And um, that's a good place to start just to learn about the organization, the hobby, and uh, you know, what might be in it for you.